Just fucking must stick his shoes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I look like crap today. Deal with it. <laughs> Um, so today is a woeful day in the life of Michelle. I am so sick right now. I have some sort of throat, sinus, cough situation. And when my immune system goes down when I'm sick, my chronic illness flares up as well. So I'm just feeling absolutely great. To say that everything hurts and I'm dying isn't that much of an understatement. Um, yeah, I feel pretty rubbish today, but I'm definitely on the other side of things. I'm feeling a lot better than I have been feeling. I think I'm out of the contagious <laughs> zone, the quarantine <laughs> zone. Oh my God, honestly, I'm so lit on like cold and flu and painkillers. I feel drunk. I feel drunk. I can't talk properly. I've been in bed for days not speaking to anyone, so I can't socialize properly. Yeah, just in general, this is going to be a really strange, long video because I cannot string a sentence together right now and I look so awful, but... We're gonna keep it real. I just took a shower. Props for washing myself, wash my hair. It's staying in a towel for now. I cannot deal. I am going to be applying makeup today because I have somewhere to be tonight. Thank goodness I'm feeling a little bit better today and I'm out of the contagious zone. But normally I would not go anywhere feeling this sick, but I do have a 30th surprise dinner thing tonight for my family member and I really don't want to miss out on it. I feel terrible, so I'm just gonna pop in for an hour, hence the purpose of this video. It also stops me from going crazy today and giving me something to do because if I have to sit in that bed for one more minute, I'm going to go hoo-ha. In the past when I've done um, like sick makeup tutorials when you're feeling rubbish, they've been more like glowy and dewy and all that kind of stuff. I need some makeup on my face today. I wanna look glowy, yes. I wanna look healthy, yes. But mama needs some coverage. And I just think in general, whether you're hungover, you've got your period or your PMS in, or you're sick like me, sometimes actually piling on the makeup <laughs> makes you feel just as good as putting on the dewy fresh makeup. You choose which one you are today. I'll link one of my fresher makeup tutorials for the same occasion up in the corner. But today we're gonna put on some coverage some concealer and feel a lot better about life. Guys, look at my skin. This is the worst my skin has been in so long. And I'm sorry I don't have my regular setup. I just turned on the camera. I'm not imprisoned by all the wires that I'm usually imprisoned by. We're just gonna work with it. We've got a coffee just to keep me alive. So let's do this. I'm gonna grab some oil and some moisturizer because my skin is like an old boot. I'm gonna chuck these three products on. The Shiseido Essential Energy Moisture Cream, which is my moisturizer right now, I love it. The Rosehip Oil, which you guys have seen me many times. It's from um, Rosehip Plus. And then I had to take a coughing break there. And then the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. All over the face. Get the hydration back. Bring me to life. What's that Evanescent song? Bring me to life. Wake me up inside. Just slapping it on. Get it on through my skin. I look so bad. Oh well. This is real. If you want to see real life, this is it. I have a bit of a fake tan on right now, um, but I have not like exfoliated or moisturized properly since I got sick, so I might be a little bit like dry looking. Please don't be mean to me, okay? You can't be perfect all the time. I'm a normal person. I get sick and my fake tan goes shitty sometimes. I'm sorry, don't yell at me. I'm going to use some of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation and mix it with some of the Huda Beauty Foundation because this is glowy, might make me look alive and the other one is really full coverage and I think together the two colors might match me. They might not. Don't come for me today with my foundation shade matching. Do not come for me. Okay, I don't feel good. I might not match. I'm doing my best, <laughs> okay? gonna blend that in until I look like a human again. I'm striving for humanness. Ooh, it actually feels really nice because it's super cold. Because I just put it under the cold water. So it's actually feeling really nice on my skin. It feels so good to put on makeup again too. I've just felt like a toe all week, like a big ugly toe. Actually, now that I come to think of it, when I was talking to you guys about doing mood-based makeup tutorials on my channel a while ago. We talked about it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Michelle Crescent underscore. That's where we have all the chats and make all the decisions. <laughs> but um, 
somebody actually suggested to me like a I'm not in the mood for today I don't feel good you know kind of makeup tutorial maybe that's where I got this idea when I was lying in bed so I'm gonna try and find that DM thank you so much for your suggestion if any of you have any suggestions for mood based makeup tutorials whether it's I need to look good today, but I hate everyone, <laughs> or, you know, your ex will poo his pants, or just any type of mood. You know those memes where it says, mood. That, but a makeup tutorial. Put it in the comments, or DM it to me on Instagram, and I'll try to see what I can do for you. I have a lot of them saved at the moment, and I can't wait to get started on them. I've already done, um, your ex will poo his pants, <laughs> and to them to give a damn. Ooh. This is just blending away to nothing. I need more. More coverage. I'm so cut off from the human world at the moment. How are you? How has your week been? Tell me things. What's going on in the world out there? How's everybody? How's the weather in your country? It's cold here in Sydney, Australia, but I heard it's really hot in England and Ireland right now, which is very unusual. Tell me all your things. I want to have a chat. I want to answer all your comments. Make myself feel better. I'm going to get this video up as soon as I can so I can literally sit in bed and be like, be my friend. <laughs> I'm using the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion to put on a brow real quick. I know I look like Schmeagle right now, I'm like hunched over, but I just don't have the energy to sit like a lady, okay? Chucking on a brow, do, 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 do. chucking on a brow. Brows are on. I'm gonna use the Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Laying Low. I love the paint pots. I use them every freaking day these days. I have like a range of colors. I'll talk about it in another video. In another video, oh, I can't speak. Exo Beauty flat top something rather brush. This is gonna look a little bit dark to begin with, but when you set it, it lightens up. So don't come for me. Anastasia, modern renaissance. Taking the light shade on a Bobbi Brown eye sweep and setting that beach. Why is it so dark in this room even though I have my ring light on? Oh, set that other eye, beach. I don't even know what I'm doing today. I just know I need makeup on my face. Now, taking a dirty, you wanna make sure it's dirty, 228 Lux Crease, Br Crease Brush by Zoeva and the shade Raw Sienna, which is this one here. I'm gonna chuck that in my crease. This is gonna be like how not to do a makeup tutorial by Michelle Crossan, the world's worst YouTuber. <laughs> Remember to take off my excess though, didn't I? I never do. So backwards and forwards into the crease. Just anything to make my eyes look alive again. We're just going in. Can you even see me? Am I even close enough? Can you see better now? Can you hear me now? I've noticed recently that so many people are copying that like Instagram header thing that's like, name that movie. And I originally had just seen my friend Casey do it. And now I feel like everybody's trying to copy Casey because she's cool. But she was the OG as far as I knew. And I don't know anything though, so who knows. I'm actually going crazy. I don't even, I can't like keep a train of thought. And yeah, I keep looking in the viewfinder because I don't have my normal screen set up or anything today because nobody got time for that. Now I'm going to take the Stila Liquid Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadow in the shade Jezebel because this makes you look like you really tried definitely what I need today. I'm gonna chuck that on the first half of my lid or like the whole lid, what do you think? The whole lid, fuck it. Oh my God, it's like butter. All my brushes are dirty. Take another dirty brush from Zoeva. 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 This is the Look Soft Definer 227 and blend the edge of that beach. Oh, I think I put too much on. We got this, we can save it. When in doubt, wipe it out. I think the towel is really making me look so good. I'm gonna put this shimmery shade here, kind of over that, make it even brighter or something. Man, yeah. Just kind of in the inner corner, brighten me up, make me look less dead. You know how it is? I'll let that lid dry down now as well while I try and look for a nude liner for my waterline. I sound like a frog or Phoebe in that episode of Friends where she's like, must take your shoes. Mac NC15 NW20 waterline color eye co chromographic thing. Oh my god, I can't do this. It's like I've forgotten how. Oh, I just removed all my makeup. Oh my god, my foundation is just 
hanging off my face. While that eye is drying down and I figure out what else to do with it because I really don't know where I'm going with it, I'm going to conceal the shit out of my under eyes with the Maybelline Age Rewind. Sickness Rewind, Age Rewind, Life Rewind, all the rewinds. And because I want it to look a little bit lighter, I'm just going to add a bit of this Tarte Concealer to... That was aimless. Now, Beauty Blender. Save me. You make me look real again. I don't know how I'm gonna do this tonight. I'm like tired just from doing this with my hand. Cannot let the family down. Must show up. <sighs> Feeling like my skin is just soaking up all the moisture of the foundation, so I'm gonna do a bit of a six plus spritz. This is the gold light one. It's the nearest one to me, hope it works. That just felt good, if anything. I just realized I don't have any more Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I really thought I had some like in there somewhere. I'm going to set the shit out of my under eye. Oh, too much, too much. Spread it out, spread it out. Oh God, what the hell? I put on way too much powder, but we're just gonna make it work. Let's put on some more. Shoom. Kylie Jenner can do it, so can I. I have my MAC Times 15 Warm Neutral Palette, which I really, really like. I got this at Mecca. And I'm gonna take the shade Saddle, which is this brown here, on this pointy blender brush from the Scream, Scream, Screen Queen Collection from Zoeva. It's a Luxe Crease 228 brush. Uh, that's a little bit darker than the brown that's already in there. And we're gonna use that in the outer half of the eye. I don't know why I'm speaking in so many broken sentences. Chuck it in there, okay? Chuck it in the outer corner. Everything hurts and I'm dying. If you can't follow, there's no hope for any of us. Yeah, that makes it look a little bit more seamless and less kind of like I just chucked that cream eyeshadow on there. On a pencil brush, I'm gonna take Raw Sienna from the Anastasia palette under the eye. I might have to go back in once I've swept away the bake, but I just kind of want to get the color down there. I'm going back into Saddle in the MAC palette and the pencil brush and darkening my outer V. Taking an even darker brown called Cypress Umber in the Anastasia palette and just putting that on the very, 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 very outer corner. Oh God. Tell me guys, when you're feeling crappy, are you like me? You'll either go for like a really dewy, natural, fresh, oh my god, I'm so awake look, or put on all the makeup in the world. Like, which one do you do? Because today, dewy and fresh would not have made me feel any kind of way. So I'm just placing down that color with the pencil brush, and then I'll blend out the angels afterwards. I swear, I'm already starting to feel a little bit better just by putting on some makeup. I know it's like a placebo effect, but it's just nice not to feel like a foot. This is the Soeva Lux Defined crease. It's really good for just buffing out those like smaller areas. Oh, so much eyeshadow. This is just the shade Tempura that we set the MAC Paint Pot with. I'm probably not even describing anything right to you guys, but you know what? I'm sick and it's okay. You just do your best when you're sick, and if you guys can't follow me, well, I'm sorry. Let's sweep away this bake and see how much damage I did. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I look really dry now, but I'm going to fix that with some Fix Plus and some highlighter. Highlighter always saves the day. Oh! I just sneezed my towel off my head. That was funny. I think blush is gonna make a big difference to my deathly face at the moment, so I'm gonna apply the Clinique Melon Pop Blush. I love this, it's one of my favorite blushers of all time. It just makes you look alive. It's a really, I can't open it. Oh, it's a really nice, like, brightening color. Bobbi Brown Angled Face Brush. I don't know why I feel like putting my blush on before bronzer and highlight today, but I just do. See, see I look alive. I'm gonna bring it in quite far because that would definitely make me look more alive. In the nose. Everywhere! Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze in Glow to Highlight and the Ray Morris brush. This is the 
mini kabuki. This is a bomb ass brush. It's got like a little tip on it. Makes everything look so good. Can you see? <laughs> My hair is starting to come out where I sneezed off that stupid towel. I'll spare you the clips of me sneezing. I saw Chloe uploaded a video about like battling the five head. I need to watch it. <laughs> that is definitely my life. Oh my god, I have like a blemish sneaking through my foundation. Give me patience. All the foundation I put on and my skin still doesn't want to cooperate. Cooperate. You can tell I'm running out of energy now. Like my will to speak is just like meh. I'm going to spritz my face with the Hicks Plus again. Is that enough? Ooh, I feel so tired. I think I'm doing a good job though. I just need some freaking lip balm before my lips fall off. MAC Espresso, Long Espresso Liner on my top lash line. Just to create a little bit of something, something. I need more blusher. I feel safe with blusher. Come to mama. See, I just feel safe. I feel healthy. This bad boy as well, which has foundation all over in the Marc Jacobs. Tantastic bronzer, which is fantastic. It's very good. I'm gonna use a little bit of that to warm up my face a little bit further because I just feel a little bit dead. I'm gonna have to put lashes on, aren't I? I've come this far. Oh, okay, I chucked on some mascara, took a quick break, almost fell asleep. <laughs> um, mascara, I'm just waiting for it to dry so I'm gonna highlight my face. I was like, why do I feel like this isn't working? I haven't highlighted yet. I have the Anastasia Glow Sugar, Sugar Glow Kit in front of me. I can't speak. I'm going to use Starburst and... Oh, that's pink. Oh, it's pink. I don't like it. Go away. Uh, why is that there? No, no, go away. There must have been something left over on my brush that I didn't like. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that stressed me out. I was really looking forward to that part. Okay, I'm just gonna put down the Anastasia palette and go into the trusty Charlotte Tilbury one. It doesn't look reflective in the pan, but on the face, she's good. I don't know where that pinkness came out of before. <sighs> So much better. Let's just put this everywhere. This eyebrow needs to be plucked, but we're gonna ignore that for a second because I'm not the queen. Can't have everything done. At this stage, I always go back in and like fiddle with my eye makeup because when everything's kind of almost done, it's when you can see what needs topping off. If you need more blush, if you need more bronzer. Anyone who says they just apply it and then that's it is a liar. Well, any YouTuber. Everyone always goes back in and like, does a little extra blend or adds a little extra product or whatever it is, you know? Just a little bit more blusher. Okay, I need to psych myself up for lashes. <laughs> Dear makeup gods, please help me on my journey, my sick, sick, woeful journey <laughs> to putting these lashes on. Please don't let me mess it up. I can't cope if I mess it up. One eternity later. I don't want to talk about my lashes. They're only half on. It was a bigger struggle than I ever intended. But anyway, just don't comment on them, okay? I know it's bad. This style usually looks okay on me and today I look like a freaking weirdo. Anyway, lipstick, Doe, MAC Lip Intensity, Lip Intensity, whatever. Fenty Gloss Balm over the top because my lips are dry, but this is more of an oily gloss, like a balmy gloss. It's so lovely, it's one of my favorite products right now. Uh, what else do I need to do? I'm gonna fix up my lower lash line to try and balance out my top lashes, I think. Put on some mascara. I'm back, so I changed my lip color to the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in Angel because I just feel like it's more brightening on the face and it's just gonna be nice and easy to maintain. I really couldn't have been bothered um, straightening or curling my hair. Sorry, I keep, like, my throat keeps catching. Um, I couldn't have been bothered straightening my hair um, or curling it or anything because, uh, yeah, it's freshly washed, but throwing it up in a bun was just easiest for me and I think it looks okay. So I'm just going to pop on these earrings. These earrings are from Princess Polly. I got them around the time I went to Coachella, so I'm not sure if you can still get them, but if you can, I'll link them 
below. Oh my god, every sentence is like killing me right now. Yes, Luna, did you hear that? That was an awful yell. You just had your dinner too. This Clinique Fit Mascara is boom. I think that's it guys, this is honestly the best I can do today and I think I did pretty damn good. Really not feeling good, <laughs> all of that makeup putting on really took it out of me. But I am excited that I'm not missing my family dinner tonight and I'm not letting anyone down. I just don't want to get anyone sick. I hope I'm at the like non-contagious stage. I'm going to have more coffee now just so I can perk myself up, but I have to go. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this random ass tutorial get ready with me when I feel like everything hurts and I'm dying. Talk to you again soon.